What's up, everybody? It's Tuba Solo coming at you. Got Matt from Lead Me Outdoors over here. We are out adventuring again. We are on, oh my goodness. We're on a dirt road headed up to Fish Creek. We're adventuring in the San Gregonia wilderness and places that we have never been. So this should be pretty exciting, but uh, it is a rough road to get to where we're going. It's seven miles of this, uh, this type of terrain until we finally get to uh, where we're going. So gonna be a good time this morning. Whoa. Yeah, there's no way you're bringing your, your Toyota Corolla in this road, so... Thank goodness Matt has his, uh... <laughs> Holy Matt, Matt has his, uh, four-wheel drive vehicle. Well, we're out here finally. We made it to uh, Fish Creek Trailhead, and we're gonna see how far we can get today. It's uh, supposed to be pretty warm down in uh, the main city area. But up here, it's actually quite pleasant. We're, we're kind of surprised. We were thinking that it was going to be something like 80 degrees today, but it's actually, uh, you know, doesn't seem like it's going to be too bad. So we're going to see how far we can get. I took the Daybreaker pack with me today by Six Moon Designs. So far, it's been working out marvelously. Uh, the carry has been very comfortable. I've got about two and a half liters of water in there right now. It carried wonderfully. Uh, you'll notice too that I brought the Six Moon Designs uh, sunshade umbrella. It's barely 8.30 right now and the sun's out. We've been walking pretty much uh, exposed the whole time. And I'm going to be really happy that I have that thing later today. And yeah, it's going to be kind of annoying having to carry it, but at least I'll have some nice shade from the super hot sun here at the very high elevation that we're at. It has been ridiculously hot out here. We're making our way up, but we are completely exposed. We've been pretty much exposed the entire time. Uh, I'm rocking my umbrella, so I'm doing okay uh, for the most part as far as exposure, but it is hot out here. We're getting a nice wind, which is nice. Definitely helping out. Way out there is, uh, looks like some, I know it looks like clouds, but it's actually fire smoke. Uh, we're thinking from, uh, there was a fire last night, kind of in the Yukaipa area, but not. I don't really know what the city is behind Yukaipa, but yeah, those clouds do not look like your normal run-of-the-mill clouds. We're almost up to the top of the ridge, so we should be able to kind of get a better look of what's going on over there once we get up to the top of the ridge, which is not too much further from here. We got to finish this switchback, and then we got one more switchback that leads us right into the, uh, right into the saddle. But yeah, this is a... Uh, this has been brutal, man. This heat is kicking our butts. But uh, onward we go. Oh, 
you have in there, Matt? I'm gonna add some honey. So I'm gonna make like a honey mustard. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Matt's uh, Matt's not feeling too good. We'll just say that. I'm I'm starting to recover, but yeah, it was rough, man. That's a that's there's like no shade. Yeah. But uh, yeah, beats sitting at home. That's for certain. But we got our butts kicked. There's we knew no we would that. though. That's yeah, the thing. We knew we would. That's kind of our mo. I already knew that. <laughs> exactly. I knew that about a week ago when we planned this hike. <laughs> All right, so that's the gear that I lugged up here. I lugged a whole bunch of water. There's a whole nother two liter ever new but, uh, bag of water in my backpack right there. But yeah, the Six Moon Designs, uh, uh, Daybreaker, great, great pack. Uh, very, very highly recommended. But yeah, we're just, uh, <laughs> we're trying to intake about as much water as humanly possible right now before we head back down. I certainly didn't get enough on the way up, so I'm gonna take this opportunity when my body's calmed to, uh, to stock up, to camel up. We finally made it up here to Fish Creek Saddle. Uh, we got absolutely scorched by the sun. I didn't get as scorched as Matt. He definitely, he definitely wore it the whole way up. I had my umbrella, so things weren't as bad for me. But uh, yeah, things weren't, weren't optimal, that's for certain. Uh, so we're over here, we're chomping on some stuff. Uh, we got to see a new campground over here, got to do some exploring, which was really nice. We're gonna get, go ahead and head on back down, um, you know, while we're still feeling pretty good. But basically, from over here, there's all sorts of places you can go. The primary place that's, that we seem to be seeing all people go to is Dry Lake, and you head down uh, from behind the camera. There's a trail, and you follow it all the way down to Dry Lake. And if you traverse this way, you go up to San Yeah, and if you traverse, I guess Matt was saying, if you traverse just to my left over here, you can go up to San G Summit. We still see plumes of smoke over there from that fire, so that's. Uh, you know, pretty interesting. I think for the first time I'm starting to actually smell something, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading out of here pretty soon. So good times, having a lot of fun. There we go, those are the plumes of smoke, man, that we're trying to uh, get away from right now. They were definitely a lot further away when we were hiking up. They appear to have advanced quite a bit. So we're heading down. We're trying to get down over, over that direction. That's where the car is parked. So we're gonna keep moving along. All right, look at that out there. That's San Gorgonio Summit. And honestly, the smoke looks like it's right on the other side of it. That is something else right now. So I could zoom in just a smidge. Yeah, look at that. Holy moly. Absolutely positive. Alright brother, let's make it down, huh? Heck yeah. We escaped the fire. Thanks be to God for that. still trying to make our way out we're almost to the end but man that fire looks just downright scary on where we go
we're uh, we're pretty happy. We're pretty happy to be out of that. We maybe face no danger at any one point, but boy, that sure looks scary. <laughs> as awkward as it may sound, if you enjoyed this adventure and like to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up. To let me know that you enjoyed this. Tuba Solo out.